welcome viewers to Let's Connect. As the world in unison battles to fight COVID-19, we here at Melbourne try and see what's positive and what can we do to bring in a positive spin to this whole environment of being locked down at home. And today, to share the experience of being locked down at home, we have a special guest joining in from USA. Let's say hello to Raki Arnad. Hi, Raki. Hi, Welcome Shyama. to Let's Connect. Hey, hi, Shyama. Thank you. How have you been? We are staying at home, maintaining social <laughs> distancing. So I'm good. <laughs> right. I understand that there are more than 300,000 confirmed uh, COVID cases in the US. There is more than 9,500 deaths. And uh, the to make matters worse, uh, California is battling with over 50% of the population, which is between 18 and 49, who have been confirmed with COVID, which uh, puts us in a state that, you know, this is not something that is only affecting the elderly population, but it can also affect youngsters. That is really scary. And you live in California. What is your thought on yes. this? So compared to Los Angeles and New York, Bay Area is much, much safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, compared to New York's number of deaths and cases, this um, California, we have like less number of cases. So we can say we are safe. As of <laughs> now, we are safe. This is a word I use mostly now on my WhatsApp, my Facebook. I get a message from all of my friends are sending me messages. Hey, Raki, how are you? Hope you guys are safe. This is the thing. The safe <laughs> word is too much in my messaging groups. Yeah. Right, you so, know, hope you're safe yeah, as of now, yes, safe. these days. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, so, Raki, I understand that you run a school for Indian classical music with over 100 students um, who have been a, a part of your school. Has this hampered your classes? Like, what do you do these days? Um, having to run a, a, a music school with over 100 students, which is not quite possible during a lockdown. What have you resorted to? How do you handle this? Yeah. So the day one, I got the message from the school district saying that as the schools are going to close till this day, so that is April 10th. So they mm -hmm. plan to close the school from March 13th to April 10th, that was the first message from the school district. So I received that message and the same day I decided no more direct lessons. I moved all my classes to online platforms. Right now I am using Skype and some batches I am doing on Hangouts and Zoom. All these platforms oh. are working well. Yeah. Wonderful. You're <laughs> so, trying and using multiple platforms to juggle between all your 100 yes. students. <laughs> How yes, do they find yes. it? Like, um, especially the little ones, the junior students that, you know, how do you handle them? Yeah, that is one thing that is, uh, I didn't plan to start classes for the little ones, the beginner students, but parents send me messages that is, Miss Raki, can you start the classes for them? Just give them some kind of homeworks. So right now I'm sending them lessons on every Mondays, like a bhajans. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's difficult to see the column and everything to correct them. There is always a lag on the video conferencing and those kind of platforms. And we cannot do the group singing on uh, Skype and Hangouts. So right. I have to do one by one. So I tell my students to mute the mic. When one student is singing, you have to, others have to mute the mic and sing from there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, so I go one by one on them. You. Yeah, uh, for the beginner level students, always the parents help them to do the classes. Yeah, mm -hmm. they always sit with them. Mm -hmm. You yourself is a mother of a toddler and how is she coping up with uh, the lockdown? Yeah, <clears throat> and she is like, uh, she have her online classes because uh, her teacher gave her two weeks study package. Right. Uh, when they closed the school, that time she got a package, a two, two weeks package, but she finished everything in one week and she's like, I finished everything. So what should I do now? This is a question. <laughs> <laughs> so and she finds some time to do some new activities. Even on my Facebook, I shared one of her activity right now. She's working on throwing the ball and putting that thing, balancing something. So oh, some yeah, of the other she things. She found a game of her own. She's made up something on her own. Yes. So do you new think games this is one time I... where people explore their creativity or rather use this time to do things that they always wanted to but never got the time for? 
Exactly. This is that time. And I believe that is a nature is telling us to take a break from all these things and uh, you, you should have a me time. You should enjoy, you should explore your talents and work on it. These kind mm -hmm. of things uh, we can do only during these times, no? So I, I think like uh, the kids are also enjoying this time, sitting at home. Even she wanted to make some new dishes and she's telling me that is we wanted to go to one craft shop, get these things and uh, make some activities. But this time I cannot take her to any of the craft shop. Craft we are shops. all staying at home. We are not going out. We can go out only for the essential things now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is allowed here. Right. Uh, at least, you know, we are in a part of a world where, you know, it is possible to shop for essentials and it makes it so much more comfortable for us to, you know, even go out for a, a, a stroll or rather exercise. So that is a breath of relief. But many parts of the world, it's a complete lockdown. You're not allowed to even step down onto the streets. So uh, they are yes. facing a worse, situa a worse situation than what we are right now. Um, Exactly. You do have a lot of connections back in India, and I understand that you have released a lot of uh, singles and cover albums. Uh, how has it worked for you, releasing single and cover albums? You, you would travel to and fro from the US and back to India. Um, right now, it looks like travel's banned for a while. So what are you going to do about the whole thing? Yeah. I booked my India trip this year for May 30. May 29th is the last day of Gauri school. So mm -hmm. May 30th, I have booked my tickets to Kerala. Mm -hmm. And I planned this time, I planned five projects, two mm -hmm. originals and three cover songs. This is my plan. And I'm, I was planning to stay like in my plan. It is like from June 1st to July 18th. So I get ample of time to do all these things. Mm -hmm. But I have a band. It's my dream to uh, make a band here so all my musicians are all set and our first album we plan to release our first album during this april so uh, we started the recording also but we couldn't uh, we couldn't like um, finish the recordings now because we cannot meet them and even our first program was scheduled for march 21st uh, this is a <laughs> yeah. what an ill luck so it got cancelled <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we are actually, we are planning more and uh, a remote recording also. We are working on one project. It is a classical Varnam. We are working um, right now with our phones. We will record and uh, we'll send to one of my friend. He have a huge system in his home. So he's going to do all the editing parts and all. So this isolation time, uh, we want to do something with the music. So we are working on it. Will, yeah, it will come soon. Like, you know, at this era, you know, when we have so much of technical advancement, there is so much of possibilities to explore out there. You don't really have to be confined to your homes and say you are totally cut off from the rest of the world. We have so much of an opportunity to still connect. And that's exactly what we are doing from Melbourne, connecting to one of our viewers from the US. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> talking about connecting with your musicians and doing this project. Uh, uh, what's the barrier or what's the limitation that you find when you're working online or not being physically present amidst each other while you're working on something like this? Does it hamper yeah, your creativity? Because, yes, yes. When you're together, the jamming sessions, that's the time we always get new, new ideas. So I give them one idea. When you're, when you're sitting together and working, the ideas are different. But otherwise, it is like, oh, I got this thing. Can you just work on it? Yesterday, I sent to my percussionist that is, I wanted to start the uh, the new Varnam with a, a Jati. So he's like, he sent me a couple of ideas that is, Iraqi, can you check? Does this works for you? This works for you. He sent me a couple of uh, recordings. So if you are together, these things will come work more like, efficiently, right? Raki, yeah, your project sounds still... so exciting. A new Varnam with a Jati <laughs> that's going to start the Varnam. Oh my God, I can't wait yes. for that on the release. <laughs> and I'm sure many <laughs> dancers out there would be waiting for that Varnam. Um, oh. It is quite unique, you know, with the idea of bringing in a Jati into a Varnam, how you can, you know, uh, look at it, uh, visually imagine the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. for right now, your, all your Indian projects have been paused. Yes. 
we will do we it's like uh, this year i can i hope i can go on december but before that we will release some more two or three projects from california from us yeah, as much as i know you rakhi you are one person who's never felt distances do matter because you are one person who actually took your pet all the way from india to us uh, just because you couldn't abandon her back in india yeah <laughs> is uh, yes Tora Tora is your pet dog Tora yes <laughs> my boy <laughs> <laughs> Yes Tora is your boy and uh, your daughter is Gauri Yeah <laughs> <laughs> That is so uh, wonderful is how is like Tora handling it do you get a chance to take your uh, uh, t- take Tora out for a walk Is that yeah. allowed So last year in 2019 I started a new hobby that is hiking and during the wow. spring that is the best season i chose going to this hikes and i'm like super excited i'm enjoying hiking nowadays every day so here all the hiking places are open they didn't close the hiking places so all the parks are now closed so i take him for hiking mostly off peak hours and i don't see much people there and me and tora are enjoying because the hikes are like this is the spring time and the hills are covered with wild flowers yeah mm-hmm. uh, i don't even i get messages from india when i post on my status that is i'm hiking at this place that place hey it's a corona season why are you going out and doing all these stuff sit at home this is the time you have to sit at home but but are you, you are sit you at home but this guy is do that go out on hike <clears throat> yes yes hiking oh, is wonderful okay, so you yeah. do still have yes. avenues to uh, relax and um, you know spend some gr- great time with family and Uh, not perhaps friends but with family <laughs> yes yes and this guy uh, tora he is a big boy he is a labrador he cannot sit at home the whole day he have to exercise he have to burn his energy so mm-hmm. i have to take him <laughs> and we both are enjoying <laughs> that's nice uh, so when you, when you enjoy this time sitting at home uh, you did mention that you know you think this is mother's mother nature's way of saying that you know you have to start looking inwards uh in this journey what uh have you utilized this time best for like sitting at home what's the best thing you know what's the best thing that's happened to you while you were sitting at home oh <clears throat> sitting at home i i do i go for my hikes and i'm learning a lot of new new songs this is a thing because uh, are you still I learning from your in... teacher via online classes yes yes Beautiful. so every fridays i have classes with my guru Mm-hmm. yeah and then i'm working uh, with new new uh, the thing is that uh, our project our new uh, program is coming up so ours is a new band and we have to sit and work on new new songs and it is like a lot of jamming sessions are required so i'm the one who is writing down all the selecting the songs so i'm working on it i'm getting ample of time then i'm a lazy person so nowadays my morning starts at 7:30 usually it is like 5:30 or 6 p.m. but right Because now the daughter I has to I go to school. Of yes. <laughs> <laughs> And Hari have to go to office to figure too. out in, in the whole picture. What does he do? Oh, my husband, he's a journalist. He works for Bloomberg. Yeah, so he is also working from home. So one room is his office room. He have all the systems and all the Bloomberg set up there. Mm-hmm. And uh, from Monday to Friday from 9 9:30 to 6 pm nobody is allowed in that room even mm-hmm. he have kept a board there that is no rakhi no gauri from this time to this time we are not allowed to his room <laughs> at all because he is always on calls and uh, he is like totally busy with his work right so, now monday to friday he is fully en- engaged and weekends he is here <laughs> oh wonderful all right so You know for for men who usually go, have a 9 to 5 job and come back home uh they might find this time very difficult sitting and you know managing everything from home. So what about the rest of the time that he gets at home? Does he use it to do something uh that has more to do with the home? Yeah, and uh, he's a good artist. So he he is actually yeah, he do a lot of animated characters and he do it for Gauri. Mm-hmm. uh and uh, he do crayon paintings those things are going on there oh, and lovely. another so thing is he perhaps you know, the entire design of your new uh band would probably be coming from your husband <laughs> <laughs> i asked him but he's like 
he he is like he will do it for gauri but whenever i ask him he is like you should go with a professional and get it done from him that is his answer always <laughs> oh <laughs> he refrains from <laughs> taking up this task he's, he he if he probably feels yeah, that it's said, too much on him <laughs> yeah he says that as uh, for gauri i can do it because it's kid stuff so mm -hmm. she will enjoy but when you think about your band and those stuff go with a professional person or design something from there All right, Rocky. So you've been doing both uh, covers as well as original uh, singles. Which one do you find mm -hmm. more exciting? Um, singles, because it's my own uh, song. When you release it, it's like uh, you won't hear that song anywhere else. It's my own song. Mm -hmm. So I always feel that singles are the best, and mm -hmm. it has created the lyrics are and also enter. Where I worked the first single with um, Sumesh Parameshwar. He is the one who did the music composition. And when he created the tune, we both sat together, and he mm -hmm. was like playing every note. A hey, Rocky, check how is this? And uh, all the work I was there with him through from the beginning till the end, and we planned everything together. So I really enjoyed working with him, especially the singles because. It's, there is a signature, right? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we do love listening to your voice every time. So um, during the time of lockdown, and when most people are confined at home, some people don't find a chance to, you know, find a new hobby and rather use this time to catch up on TV. Why don't you please um, entertain us with one of your music? Oh, speaking of life, for M for TV. Yeah, sure, sure. So um, I will sing one gazal. This is "Aaj Thank Jaane Ki Zid Na Karo." Oh, beautiful! Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Tum hi socho zara kyu na ro ki tumi jaan ja. jaane ki zid na karo very relevant in fact thank you so much aaj jaane ki zid na karo you have to stay at home and that's <laughs> the best for every one of us <laughs> yes even i think that is this as a situation that is you are not locked in a in your home mm -hmm. you are safe at your home This Absolutely. Why do to... they call it a lockdown? You know, stay safe at home, and it's it's so much yeah. lovely to you know listen to all the positivity that you know the world has to share around with us. In fact, you know through Let's Connect, that's exactly what we have been doing: finding positive stories like people from you who inspire the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Rakhi, for joining us on Let's Connect mm -hmm. all the way from USA. We'll see you soon, and good luck with your projects. Goodbye. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Shyama, and stay safe. Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. That was Rakhi Arnath from California, who runs a school called Sarangi School of Music, all the way there. And hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Connect. I'll see you very soon. Until then, goodbye.